Welcome back to Crystal Clear! I'm Ostrich Vox, and Steven Universe the movie is gonna see the return of a lot of fan favorite characters. Not just Steven, Garnet, Amethyst, and Pearl, but with the revelation of the film star studded cast, we also have the confirmed returns of Peridot, Lapis Lazuli, Lars, Yellow Diamond, Blue Diamond, White Diamond, and so much more like. Wait, what? Aquamarine? <laughs> if you've been browsing the internet lately, you may have come across an article by Polygon that confirms. Aquamarine's presence in the Steven Universe movie. However, I think it's important we actually take a look at the article and break everything down a bit instead of looking at face value. Now, Aquamarine was not the focus of this article at all. In fact, its focus served to give more confirmation on Steven Universe's longevity, confirming that the Steven Universe franchise will not end at the movie. The article reads, Don't worry, Steven Universe fans. Despite finale of the last season and the upcoming movie, the beloved Cardinera property is not ending. The fifth season of Steven Universe finished up by tying almost all loose ends. Why Diamond concedes her iron grip rule and admits she's wrong. Steven realizes that he's his own person and not his mother. Homeworld is freed from the rigid class system, and all the gems return back to Earth to restore the corrupted gems. The upcoming musical movie promises to address the last few lingering plot points. Namely, the ruthless Aquamarine, whose unsanely cackle was heard at the very end of the first teaser for the movie. With the last season feeling very much like a series finale, and the upcoming movie basically closing out the last big plot point, many have speculated that the movie would serve as the end of Steven Universe. But Cartoon Network clarified this was not the case. The television movie is not the end of Steven Universe, a Cartoon Network representative told Polygon in an email. There is more to come. While this might surprise some fans who felt the season finale felt, well, final, Eagle Eye Steven Universe fans have noticed new hires to the crew universe, the affectionate nickname of the Steven Universe staff, and regular cast members recording lines, implying the show isn't over just yet. It's not confirmed if this means a sixth season or a sequel series, all of the numerous follow-ups to Ben 10, but whatever it is, there is more Steven Universe in the works. There is still no specific release date for the movie, but it will air on Cartoon Network sometime this fall. Alright, so two big things to unpack here. First being, yes, we now have official word of mouth from a Cardinal representative that Steven Universe is not going away anytime soon. I recently speculated that the series could end at the upcoming season, but the fact of the matter is, there is still an upcoming season to look forward to. The other big takeaway is, Aquamarine? She's the villain of the movie? Wait, Aquamarine is a loose plot thread? Alright, alright, I'm not trying to slam this article or its author or anything. This is not the point of that, the people at Polygon are just doing their jobs. But I think it's important to note that something left out of the article is that the part about Aquamarine and this movie tying up loose ends is pure speculation. The sentence about Aquamarine is actually highlighted in a pink text, which led to the initial press release article Polygon wrote up about the movie's reveal at San Diego Comic Con, written by a separate author, and makes absolutely no reference to Aquamarine in the article itself. Other hyperlink sentences throughout the article links to other news sources and Reddit posts. So again, while I'm not trying to slam any publication or author, Aquamarine's involvement in the film does not come from anyone at Cartoon Network. It is nowhere official. And while we're on this topic, this also goes for IMDb. Since we started this whole little roundtable operation and Steve Universe content, I've gotten numerous tweets saying, oh my god, this character is going to be in this upcoming episode, they're on the IMDb list, or this is a brand new gem, or here's the voice actress for this one long-awaited character. I think a great example was IMDb displaying a different actress for Pink Pearl, when it still ended up being Dee Dee Magna Hall, but for a while, I still had people linking me IMDb telling me, hey, look who voices this character, this character is confirmed to appear. Everyone's hearts are in the right place, and I know you guys are excited, but INDB should not be counted as an official source. Should that mean you should discredit everything on there? No. Sometimes credible names and faces pop up on there. Like how we knew there was a Gravity Falls character named Tad Strange all those years ago before this Tangeria candidate aired. And so many people were swearing it was Bill Cipher's brother. Listen, I'm the only one on the internet that's allowed to make false brother theories. Not to mention if Aquamarine was in the film, with an already known presence. Her name would have popped up in that press release with everyone in the cast who's going to perform, as I doubt they would pass up on an Aquamarine villain song. 
Not to mention that ominous laugh in the trailer clearly belonged to the heart-shaped gem, whose identity is still unknown, but we can assure that's definitely not Aquamarine. If anything, it sounds more like Terra Strong. That being said, we shouldn't rule out Aquamarine popping up in the Steven Universe movie. With so many characters already confirmed to appear, I feel like there are a dozen more who are going to pop up, and they just haven't been confirmed yet. Those are appearances they're going to try to keep under wraps, and then slowly give away more and more until the movie's premiere. Including the lovable blue bitch. Pardon my language. I think Aquamarine popping up in this film is actually pretty likely. Like any long-form Steven Universe adventure, we're likely going to see the Crystal Gems tackle space once more. Perhaps Aquamarine and Topaz could be assigned by the Diamonds to escort Steven and the Crystal Gems safely on their mission, leaving Aquamarine to be forced into a reluctant alliance. Over the course of the film, Aquamarine cracks more and more, or maybe she even begins to warm up to Steven. But as soon as we believe she's going to play the hero card, we actually have a moment where she betrays Steven and the Crystal Gems, or a fake out moment where we think she's going to betray them and then she pulls through. Or maybe the story of the movie could be one of my theories for the season 6 plotline. That we'll see pushback from gems who don't want to change. Even though we're in era 3 and everything's supposed to be great and we have the legalization of cross gem fusions and so many other changes and the diamonds are going to try to be a lot more peaceful and understanding, some gems, especially elite gems, may be utterly disgusted by this change. No way Jose, we're not going to be tree huggers leading to an uprising of gems, led by the mysterious heart-shaped gem we see in the teaser trailer. And these gems could include the likes of Emerald and Aquamarine, Topaz being forced into his rebellion against her will, giving us a cathartic moment where she breaks free and joins the crystal gems. All I know is, this movie might really surprise us in more ways than one. If this is going to be a celebration of Steven Universe, they have to bring back one of their most iconic gems, right? Here, I'm going to pass the question off to you guys. Do you want to see Aquamarine pop up in the Steven Universe movie? And if she does, do you believe she'll have a significant role? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet your thoughts at RoundTableVids. And for more of my own thoughts, you can find me at Fox. We're also on Instagram. Special thanks to MyCatSU for creating an awesome thumbnail. For more of his amazing art, you can find him on his Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Links down below in the description. Help the Rantable grow by either becoming a member of this channel or supporting us over at Patreon. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please sort of like and subscribe to the Roundtable for more great cartoon content. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Ostrich Vox, signing out.